problem. This person they go about you pass the back foot. They go about a sister, you pass the bells and her family. Elder Snyder, we thank God for you. We thank certainly praise and thank God for evangelists and Elder Blackburn on today. Thank and praise God for Minister Wright being with us as well. We truly praise and thank God for our musicians. Hallelujah on today. Just thank God for everybody in the body of Christ on today. Actually, you just bear with me. I don't do good at last minute trying to put something together, but I'm asking God to give me something. I was laying in bed this morning, and I heard God say, walk by faith, not by sight. And I told my sister today, I said, I was laying in bed. I said, God gave me walk by faith and not by sight. I said, I don't know what that's about. Oh, you can use that on the next Friday night service. I said, okay. But it must have been meant for me to use it today. Yeah. 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 And I will be up here in front of this people. So I'm going to say, just give a small brief word. God wants us to walk by faith and not by sight. Jesus. So Corinthians, uh, 2 Corinthians 5 and 7 yeah. says you walk by faith walk by and not by sight. Not by sight. Mm -hmm. Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith Amen. is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Mm -hmm. So no matter what the situation is, no matter what it looks like, no matter what even come our way, God want us to walk by faith and not by, not sight. by sight. Not to walk by what we see, right. but to walk by faith. Oftentimes things will come our way to overthrow us, to make us feel some kind of way, to even discourage us, to intimidate us, trouble us, frighten us, even sometimes things will come to even affect your spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Even yeah. Way you do that. Yeah. But God yeah. don't want those things to be in us. He wants us to walk by faith, walk by faith. and not by sight. Yeah. Amen. God wants us to trust in him. Yeah, he wants us to believe yeah. in him. Amen. He wants us to stand and hold on to his word. Yeah. In Jeremiah, sorry. I'm trying to get to Jeremiah. So Jeremiah 17 and 5 says, Thus saith the Lord, Cursed be the man that trusteth in man, and make flesh his arm, and whose heart departed from the Lord. So God wants us to trust in him, not man, because oftentimes what can man do for us? A lot of times they backbite, they stab us, they talk about us. Yeah. Go behind your back. Yeah. And we come to them telling them all our problems, yeah. all our situations. Yeah. Every time we call somebody up, they can't even have a word of prayer. They won't even, they'll try to encourage, but they don't mean it's not coming from the heart. So God yeah. wants us to try in him, not man. Don't go running to man every time something happens. God wants us to come to him. He wants us to pray. He wants us to believe in him that he's God, that he's able, that he can do what we cannot do. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 17 and 7 says, Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord. In, in the Lord, not man. And whose hope is in the Lord. So he wants us to trust in him once again. Trust in him and not man. He said if you trust in man, you're cursed. But if you trust in him, you're blessed. So you want to trust in the Lord. We don't want to keep running to man and, uh, and talking to man about our problems and situations. Sometimes it's good to be able to go to your mom, your dad, your sister, as I often go to, and just get a word of encouragement. But God, overall, God is the one that can do it. God is the one that can bring us out. God is the one who can fix it. So he wants us to trust in him. He wants us to walk by faith and yes. not by sight. Amen. Walk yes. in faith and not by sight. Yes. Don't walk in what you see. Don't walk in what you feel. Don't walk in what's yes. going on at the time. Yes. But walk by faith. Yes. Walk by faith. Don't give it a second chance, a second thought. But walk by faith. Walk by These problems and situations come. Some things come because God wants us to come to him. That's God right. wants to see if we he can trust us. Yes. They'll yes. come. But believe and know that God is there. Just like yeah. apostles been preaching on them giants, they there. But do believe me, they do come there. Because yeah. God 